We are back out for round two. Mr. Seth Dubois behind the camera. Put the camera down for a couple seconds and I'm going on like his third cast. Well, Will is supposed to be our fisherman and I'm supposed to be the cameraman today, but uh, I just caught this thing. We tried to have a spotty mission a couple days ago, but we ran into some uh, gear failure is what uh, Zach Zorn would call it. What? Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's that's what happened. So we're back out with the new rod, courtesy always of Cousin Sackle. I will say car doors are not covered under Cousin Sackle manufacturer warranty. We're out here in Mission Bay this time. Throwing the crank, might throw an underspin. And we're gonna see if we can get on a little sundown spotted bay bass bite. Get our fix in. So stay tuned. That's what you call a grass bass. Something I'm a firm believer in, it's the honest truth, is when you're pulling up grass when you're fishing spotties and it's like black and brown, that grass is probably dead. And these guys, it's a nice little fish. These guys probably aren't moving in it. As you can see, this grass is bright green, super healthy eelgrass. Um, I really believe that the that the quality of the eelgrass and the livelihood of the eelgrass is something that are gonna make the spotties live in it. They don't wanna live in stuff that's dead. They don't wanna live in a home that's dead, right? Just like you wouldn't wanna live in a home that's just burnt to the ground. So, get some of this grass off here. That was kinda cool, that was on a, that was on a sink. I, I, I brought the bait up and then put it in freeze pool right before the dock and that guy must have been falling and it chomped on the way back. Just a little underspin with a little MC swim bait, skinny. It's a freshwater bait actually, swim bait. Feels like a little better fish. Slow rolling it through the eelgrass. It's dogging me pretty good. Yeah, it's a decent sized spotty. Fatty. This is a fatty. So this spotty, it's a grumpy spotty. It's a very grumpy spotty. Really fat, probably not long enough to be illegal, but he's a pretty thick fish. Um, get this guy back in the water. Talk about a small spotty. Some guys say they never they never find these fish. Usually it's so hard to hook them because look how look how small their mouths are. So let that guy go. So last time you guys saw me was probably the San Clemente Island mothership trip we did a few years ago back on the Rays Ranger. That was a really fun time, caught a lot of calico bass, caught some yellowtail. You know, since then I kind of went back to school. Evan started his charter business, and things have been busy for us. We haven't been producing that much content. Off camera, I've been doing a lot of marlin fishing, especially on the bullpen. Took that thing down to Mag Bay, had a ridiculous spot at Bay Bass, and marlin fishing down there. And uh, going forward, we're going to be coming out with a lot more content. 
we're really gonna make a focus on producing content. Got a bigger crew, so it makes it a little bit easier. And it should be a really, really, really fun year. Had a fun spot of bay bass session. Caught a few spotties, and always good to get a fix in. So now we're hungry. Go grab some food, and just enjoy this fine May evening in San Diego.